welcome back to the channel. In today's video, my friend Mitch, who appears in this video, um, and I will be talking about whether or not I'm gonna want to supercharge or turbocharge the Miata. So, without further ado, let's uh, get into it. MX-5. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. We're gonna play Minecraft after this, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, thank God. Okay, right. let's talk about Boost. The Miata. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 Boost. So, basically, I'm gonna be arguing for a supercharger, and you're gonna be arguing for a turbo. To keep... See that? Wow, it's like a supercharger. Does that like go in the engine bay? No, that goes on the back. <laughs> The belt is really long. <laughs> Got it, okay. Um, so like, does the belt like go like around the car as in like the top half of the belt goes over the roof of the car and the bottom half goes under the, the bottom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so why don't I start talking about superchargers? first okay so the first benefit obviously of a supercharger is the fact that it has um basically no lag so you put your foot down and the car goes rather than you sitting there and then it finally starts creating boost that's pretty much the main benefit of a supercharger <laughs> and you don't have to do any like crazy ECU tuning for that to be the the case like with a turbocharger like you can make the argument like oh if you tune it right like the turbo won't have very much lag, but it's like, okay, with a supercharger, that's just how it is. Like, you don't have to go through all the extra steps. There is a common uh, argument now that like, like uh, turbochargers have essentially like rendered superchargers useless because um, all the turbo lag has been like battled. Right. Um, but that tends to only be the case. Well, it's really never the case, but it tends to be close to the case with very expensive turbo kits and I, I want to say that's typically on newer cars that are you know factory built with like a turbo and right installing a turbo onto a Miata <laughs> like how we would do it yeah would would not render like results like instant torque uh, right like super right that would be so, insanely difficult so what you're saying is that like nowadays in some cases there are Actually, in many cases, there are turbos that don't have the crazy, you know, turbo lag. But if we yeah. were to boost my car, there's going to be turbo lag. Like, that's just sort of how I, it's going to be. That would be my guess. I mean, yeah. I want to say you could maybe battle uh, lag with, like, um, a smaller turbo. Right, um, right. Which is something I would probably do. It, it, regardless of how fast the turbo can, you know, make power... You know, exhaust gases still have to travel through to the turbo regardless. Right, right, you know? right, 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 right. Which can be greatly reduced reduced to a point where, like, I'm sure you wouldn't even notice or care. Right. But it's still a thing. Yeah, know? yeah, for sure. And it's crazy because, like, my dad, you know how he, he got the BMW X5? Um, mm -hmm. It's like a 2015 or something. Um, it has a turbo from the factory. And it is so crazy noticeable. Like if you're pulling out into traffic, you, there's like no torque. And then all of a sudden, like you don't have to move your your foot on the pedal at all. All of a sudden, it's just an insane amount of power that you just, you can't get used to. Yeah. Like you, you don't you don't expect it if it's the first time you're driving the car. And it's insane at first. I, I would argue that that is not ideal. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Like, I definitely would say that it's like if I were to turbocharge my car, I would get used to it for sure. But that doesn't mean it's right. ideal. Uh, so, I know with the WRX, um, there's been a lot of tuning done to it, but right. you know, it it's a factory turbo, and I mean, the turbo will help you in that car in like the zero to sixty. It's really quick. Like right. I mean, you give it just a little bit of gas and you let off and you can hear the the blow off valve and everything. Um, Cause it does like, you know, fully spool up and actually like begin to create boost quickly. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'd say like, that's where we want to be at. Cause right. technically no, it's not instant, but like, we're not going to care. Like, right, right. Yeah. That's adding boost. Yeah. 
way quicker than we would care you mm -hmm. know yeah that's gonna help with the acceleration like i feel like with the miata or for any car that like we would drive who like the top speed is not a big concern yeah if we were turboing my car we would not be focusing on high-end speed we'd be focusing on low-end torque um exactly so yeah exactly which plays into the benefit of a supercharger um because that is just sort of a given with a supercharger is you're gonna have the low end torque, but you're also gonna have the high end speed. So you kind of get both. Whereas with a turbo, with the way that we would do it, we would have to focus on one or the other. And I, it's, I would just guess that like most Miata turbo kits would be geared towards low end anyways. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, and then everybody knows that uh, superchargers, have you know the uh, uh technically on paper they make less power less boost right um whereas you know it essentially like you said just moves the power band up where like right with a turbo you'll really see where it kicks in and it'll be a right. lot more but it's it's kind of like what's the point if it's not where you want it you know right yeah which is so. plays into the fact that we have to tune it pretty darn good uh which I'm not like I'm not saying that we we're not going to do that, but it's just something we have to do. It's, it's expensive too. It's really expensive. Unless I do it myself. Which yeah. I don't, well, don't want to blow it? up my you car. Get a dyno? But no, we, would we, we, we would have me in the passenger seat with the laptop. Oh, actually, like you'd be driving it to tune it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh damn, that'd be crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've so seen cool. videos of people doing that. I mean, I would have oh, yeah. to do a ton of research first, and then I would probably, I would get a specific kit, and then from that kit, I would get, I would tune it to like a baseline that like the manufacturer recommends, and then from that baseline, we would be able to drive it and then tune it further. You know what I mean? Um, another thing that I found out with, in regards to supercharging over turbocharging, is with a supercharger, you don't need oil. You don't need engine oil. Um, at all for it. So that's another big step that you don't have to worry about with a supercharger. You don't have to create new lines of oil into the supercharger, whereas with the turbo you do. And that's something else that could go wrong with the turbo. Yeah, do you have to drill into the oil pan? Or how does yep. that <laughs> And that's terrifying. And you have to install a catch can. I mean, that's not difficult. It's just an extra thing. To yeah, exactly. Them. Just an extra sub. Um, but then we get to now the largest benefit of the turbocharger, and that is price. So Ideal. I'm looking at, at complete kits that are new. So this is the CX Racing Kit. Basically, with that turbo kit, you get everything you need for just over two grand which is very reasonable and for getting everything like that's like that's pretty good i'll take it yeah. um but then when you go over to the supercharger side of things um <laughs> you get up to the point where these kits are like four grand five grand six grand look at this link that i'm about to send yeah look at all, all four of those <laughs> options 4,800, five grand, five grand, 5,300. And um, is this on the lower end of prices for these? This is the only end of prices. Like, okay, I'm going to the next one down, which is um, our, the Craftworks kit, four grand. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's pretty. So we go from two grand to four grand being the lowest for superchargers. So that is a huge benefit of turbos is the fact that they are much more um, cost efficient in, for getting boost. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So yeah, those are, I would say, the main points. So another point to consider, okay. I, I don't know if it's like a great point, but you can argue that like uh, a turbo in a Miata is just a little more proven. Yeah. As in, it's yeah. been done a lot more. It might be a little less sketchy to do so, you know? Yeah. Um, not saying it's not, like, unique to do it, but it's just, like, 
You still see a lot of supercharged Miatas. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. It is more, so, more arguably more proven than a supercharger. You um, could maybe find like more support. Um, right. Cheaper kits could be better than cheaper supercharger kits. Right. Oh, so, another another point, uh, which isn't super important, but that is sound. Um, turbos have the win for sound. Um, I've seen yeah. plenty of videos of supercharged Miatas and the whine is like insane. Like it's super high pitched. Yeah. So yeah, I've made a decision. I want to hear what, what you think decision wise before I say anything. So if this was my project, yeah. I, I think I would definitely go with a turbo kit. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I just feel like it's a little more proven. Um, you know, they are arguably not quite as hard on the engine. They're still both hard on the engine, but um, I think it would maybe be a little easier to install because like I said, it's been done. Mm -hmm. I think in the application that you or I would have, <laughs> it's just fine. Um, <laughs> right. This would add power and I think it would add power where we would want to see it and it would just be a ton of fun um, right. in that regard. I think a supercharger would be fantastic, though. That's not a bad option. Just not right for us. Yeah, and uh, despite the fact that I've been talking up superchargers, I'm going to agree with you. Um, and I'll also add in another reason that you didn't mention, uh, which is the price. I'm not going to go and spend yeah. five grand on a kit. And yeah. the other thing is, like, someone might say, like, oh, you don't need to spend five grand on a kit. Like, you can buy everything yourself and make it way cheaper. I am not <laughs> a good enough mechanic to trust myself to buy everything separate and ensure that it works or won't blow up my engine. So I am, no matter what option I choose, I'm buying a kit. And then it comes down to, am I going to spend five grand or two grand? And then yeah. it comes down to, I'm turboing my car. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so. and it's also like you're essentially, like you said, paying double the price, but are you getting like double the performance? Right. The, the only huge benefit is the no lag. And I think that we can make it so that there's minimal lag and obviously I will get used to it. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think before, actually before researching for this video, like I was pro supercharger all the way. Um, after. I think that the benefits of a turbo outweigh the benefits of a supercharger. Just in my case specifically, if I had infinite money, I would do a supercharger. Um, I think. But I mean, since I, I, I don't, think superchargers yeah. are great. I think they're a great option for many vehicles too. Yeah. Um, just maybe not this. Yeah. Like and I mean, with like the whole no lag thing, I think in my opinion that comes to comes down to personal preference. Like like I said. If I had infinite money, I would supercharge it because I would prefer in that, like if money is taken out of the situation, I would prefer the benefits of no lag to the benefits of like the turbo sound, right? But that doesn't mean that the same is for you. If you had infinite money, I would bet you would still turbo something. You would twin turbo something. <laughs> Probably. Um, whereas in my case, I would maybe go with the supercharger if money wasn't in the equation. But with everything considered, I think that turboing uh, definitely has the clear uh, victory as of right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I think to me, I think that's a good choice. Yeah. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, and based on how it went, I think we're going to be turboing the Miata at some point. Um, yeah, we'll see when that is. Uh, I'm not totally sure, obviously. Um, it's all just talk, but. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.